Alright people, welcome back, and we are now going to do our majority games. This is the games that most of us have played, and most of us are going to uh, be able to talk about. And for our first big majority game, it's the Game of the Year winner, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yay! Breath of the Wild! Breath of the Wild! But wait, what about our honorable mentions? No, no we'll, that'll be don't. later. Not that'll yet. be later. Oh, that'll okay. be after yeah. the top fives. Breath yeah. of the Wild. Breath <laughs> <laughs> of the Wild. What was that? <laughs> Birth of the Cast. Wild. Cast of the Wild. Anyway. So, welcome, oh, boy. Everybody. So it should be said. Yes, Oh, man, we did I can totally a... hear the theme playing in the background while we're talking, to this, Ooh, talking yes. about this. Oh, yes. anyway, but, but, um, it, yes. Anyway, it should be said. Yes, we did do a very big discussion on this game a while back. And yes, I didn't have much to say about it. In fact, I was actually playing Breath of the Wild a majority of the time. But with that said, we still love it. It's it, it's a great, great game. It, I think it's very much deserving of its awards that it was uh, the accolades it received. I oh think yeah, it was a huge shift. It was a very it was a very defining shift for Nintendo, and like where it was wanting to take its company and its properties. Forward. Yeah, a very successful one. And, oh, yeah. and it is hands down the best launch chi title of any game console ever. Really. I think so, yeah. I mean, at least for Nintendo. For, I would say, yeah. I, well, I, I would say just, I, I would almost argue in general, because, like, sure, there are great games. I, I will not say it's the best game yeah. ever, but I the, definitely think <laughs> it was one of the, I, I definitely think it is the best launch title that, like, started There's, a console. There are some great launch titles in the past, like Mario, like, uh, Mario, Mario 64, 64. Or, Mario World. Uh, or yeah, or uh, or pilot uh, wings. Everyone remembers that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, or one one I was thinking of, uh, Halo on Xbox. Oh yeah, was that yeah, a launch okay. title? Yeah, I think so. the the yeah. original Halo was a launch title. Yep. It okay. Was great. Continue. Hmm. But yeah, so Breath of the Wild. We all have played this game, and we all love it. Oh yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. I would say, com I, I would, yeah, like Seely back back in our earlier minority discussion. But no, but she was, yeah. no, but, but she was doing some stuff. There's, it, there's just so much to do in that game. I, still I was have just, over I was just working on DLC. That's it. I still well, have it, over. It, a, it, I, it's still a testament to how much we love this game. Like Seely just, like she was playing through it while we were having our talks, and hey, we're all for the best. And, mm. we, and with the new DLC that came out a little later in the year after its release, I have. Proudly now put in over 150 hours into that game to get pretty much everything that's worth getting, and it's it's a ride. Everything worth getting, and even things not worth getting, in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, like the golden, like the golden piece of shit. Logan, yeah. How's that? How, how's that? How's that smell, by the way, Logan? Taking it all the way to the bank. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's, a, it, it's it is a, but no, it is a it is. A phenomenal game, and yeah, we're gonna try not to talk about all the mechanics and stuff like last time. But it, yeah, it, but the fact that we were able to talk for almost two hours just about the game and what it did should already speak volumes about what kind of. I think what, what I would like, like to, to talk it. about. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, no go ahead. That, that was it. That, 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 that's I, all I'm gonna say. Great game. I just want to talk about the recent DLC with the, while trying not to spoil anything. Actually, yeah, yeah, that is not done it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, what, Matt? No, no, let, yeah, definitely, talk about it. Uh, uh, okay, um... The DLC? Oh, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Should I start with the first DLC, or the recent DLC, or... Let's just do the recent DLC. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's fresh on everyone's mind. Okay, okay um, every, uh, okay, everyone here Order has sickle. played the DLC, right? No, of course. Yeah, yeah I have. Okay. Not, just, not all of, of it yet, but... Not all of it yet, yeah, but close. Yeah, and um, I'll admit, I haven't finished it yet either. It's a hard one. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but the, what, what's it called? The, the weapon? The, 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 uh, the one-hit obliterator. obliterator. Yeah. The, 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 I cannot speak. One-hit obliterator, that's it. Oh, I hate how much it was a double-edged sword. That it, was kind well, of the point. It definitely a whole new depth to it. Well, yep. not literally <laughs> double-edged sword, but... but it, was definitely, it definitely added a whole new level of... Uh, Tension to the gameplay. Mm -hmm. yeah, you more... really, really had to be creative with your strategy for going about the DLC with that weapon. 
Yeah, yeah. though, though at, the, at the very least, it's still th- it's still lo- a lot more merciful than the master mode. Come to think of it, creative is what I would describe the entire game in general. It, it I mean, you can, you can pretty much do things. anything to get past a solution. Oh yeah, we learned that. Yeah, and there's except a lot for ex- except for facing a, a Lionel head on, otherwise you're gonna get skewered. Yeah, there are there are <laughs> yep. some things that you need a solid strategy for. Yeah, yeah. that's one example. Clammy again is another example. But um, oh yeah, but yeah, there's there's like a little bit of everything for people, I think, in there. Yeah, and, and if you thought and if you thought Calamity Ganon was a ser- real son of a bitch, you're really gonna hate the final boss of uh, the Champions Ballad. I forget. I I, for, I I already forgot what his name was. Don't don't worry about it. It's a spoiler anyway. <laughs> Shucks, that's a great idea. So, uh, yeah, you might you might want to go back and edit that out, Logan. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm just, uh, look, no one's gonna know the heck I'm talking about from just that name. Well, to be fair, Matt, you are the one that's editing it, so you can do the work. You'll for be it. fine. It's not, early, not okay. Anyway, but the game is amazing. The game is easily, I think, one of two examples of a game that was worth every dollar I spent on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, that, that, actually, no, maybe three. But there's a lot of games. 2017 was a game that like. I would pay sixty dollars for a game, and I would feel like I got every cent of that experience. I paid sixty dollars for a lot of games in the past, and always felt like it was just like I was wanting more from it. Titanfall two, even I need to put more of that multiplayer sometime. It's like there's prob- a lot. But, sorry, <laughs> but Breath of the Wild just—it wasn't just oh I gotta do a lot of stuff. This was oh my gosh I have so much more to do in this game. Mm-hmm. There was fun in doing everything. What what I like is you know looking at the champions' backstories I. I haven't finished the DLC yet, but I'm. I, I feel I already feel so satisfied. Actually, if I can make a comment real quick, there's so many options. It's so there's so many options for you to do, and it's always a breeze, even on a rainy day. Oh wait. Oh, oh wait. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, the oh, rain. We I have to stand here and just wait it. for time to pass because <laughs> I ca- I yeah. can't climb anything. Yes, I'll go make a sandwich because I don't got sauna storms or something. <laughs> but I guess but, I can make money. a. Oh wait, wait, wait! I got one. I guess I can make a fire to pass the time. Oh, oh, wait. oh wait! I can't do that either. <laughs> not unless you find. Fi- not unless you find some cover. Yep. Yeah. But um, uh, hi, your uh, hi, Bjerg, yeah, your experiences with the game. Um, I love it. Um, I definitely think it deserves its game of the year status. It is of 3D Zelda anyway. It's definitely my favorite 3D Zelda ever made. Um, I I just love a lot of it. I love. Uh, even if people are still kind of iffy about it, even after the DLC, I love the story. I love the characters. In fact, at the risk of pissing, yeah. in fact, at the risk mm-hmm. of pissing people off, p- off, at the risk of pissing people off, I find these characters more engaging than Majora's Mask's characters. You know what? Oh. I totally agree with you. I, I can see that. I mean, yeah. I, I I told my mother this the other day because she was the one, or yesterday I told her this because she was the one who intro- first introduced me to Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Breath of the Wild has had so much more character development that Ocarina of Time's characters, they don't hold a candle to Breath of the Wild. They all. really don't. It's yeah. sad, but it's true. Yeah. Mm. Well, just, it's just because we've evolved. Things we can do are so much like different. Like Now we've gotten to a point where NPCs aren't just on a looping path or just standing in place. You know, and, all things... and you know, I never thought I would say that because Ocarina of Time is it's it's still my it still holds a special place in my heart and deep down my favorite game. But mm-hmm. actually, now that I stop and think about it, imagine if one day we eventually get like a reboot or reimagining of Ocarina of Time with a similar mindset to that of Breath of the Wild. I would I love think, that. Oh, wow. It would be cool to see it yeah. on a graphical standpoint, but I don't yeah. think the gameplay would apply it well to Ocarina of Time. But but uh, if they want well, to go about well, it with a similar setup. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like it it wouldn't all play. Reboot. Yeah, I, I was about to say it wouldn't all play the same. I mean, God no. Imagine having to having a Breath of the Wild s type of gameplay style with a goddamn. Um... Dude, the... imagine the big go on sword quest trying to run across Hyrule. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, can't. You trying can't to run that thing across the, the heavens. No. It'd be fun. <laughs> Yeah, it, it wouldn't work. But um, I would. But, yeah. I would. No, no, I, no, 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 no. It would work, but only if you summon your motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I would say if if they could if they could combine uh, the new standard they've set for this game with the uh, the atmosphere and tone of previous games, you know, I I think I think it could work. They would just I, have I, to I be second, creative. I second that. And, and not make it seem like a complete rehash. And they've already stated that they are working on making the next Zelda. 
I, 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 yeah. I feel like Ready? I feel like Breath of the Wild just uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I feel like the entire game set the the bar just really high. I don't know if they can even you know yeah I don't know if they can compete with that. I, mean, I guess I, with the, I, I guess with that said though, if I can take the mic real quick, um, yeah. I mean I love Breath of the Wild. I kind of hope hope in my heart that not every Zelda game after this is going to go with that formula. I mean, oh, it'd yeah. be not, I wouldn't mind the occasional, like, obviously the main main console games. That's definitely a must. But I wouldn't mind the occasional smaller game that takes a similar mantle to, say, A Link Between Worlds. Oh, I'm pretty Actually, sure they're going to do that. The classic gameplay is always fine. Yeah. To be fair, we kind Actually, of got that with Triforce Heroes. Well, that's, that's what I'm getting at, though. I, I wouldn't mind more games like... A link between worlds or Triforce Heroes or anything like that. Just oh, the yeah. smaller stuff to keep, to satiate our appetite for the bigger stuff. Actually, like, they they are uh, they did say in an interview that they are going to uh, make future Zelda games like Breath of the Wild. Oh dear. So, well, so we'll, we'll I, see. I, I, I wouldn't, I we'll wouldn't see be surprised they if they're just talking about the mainstream games, but I'm I'm just thinking to myself, I'm pretty sure they'll at least do smaller games so that way it doesn't feel quite as um, redundant. I would mm -hmm. like them to. I would like them to bring back some of the cool stuff I remember, like you know, dungeons and actual like, yeah. like, like actual dungeons. The shrines are cool, but I would like actual full on dungeons. In fact, actually speaking of the link between worlds, I do remember hearing a rumor, which I'm sure is false, that it could get a Switch version at some point or another. Please yeah. let that be true. It could I work. Love that game. I, I don't think that game needs a lot of touch. I think that would work. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, with that said, um, anything else? The music was fantastic, of course. Uh, oh it, again, yeah. I feel, I whenever feel like, you whenever you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I feel like it, I feel like it spoiled me in terms of it spoiled me as in like not as like a plot, but like it spoiled me as in like oh, it gave me two two desserts. It spoiled me in that I have no, I had never before realized like why I was never able to, I was never able to get into games like Skyrim and games like Horizon Zero Dawn at first. But like a simple thing of being able to climb anything, yeah, you know, yeah. Especially yeah. yeah, you're such a Spider Man, made, and then made, but that made exploration Sorry. fun. That like if I wanted to go to something, I could literally go. It, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that callous like claim every other game makes. Like you see those mountains, you can go to those mountains. No, this is like you see that little divot down there in the middle of a hole. You can go there if you want. I don't care. We'll be able to get out. It's not a, it's not broken or anything. It's like we and then... really can. And I, I don't have to like I can make <laughs> beelines. I can. It gave me such freedom. Almost like a, it almost it made me feel like a little kid like running around in foothills. Again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually... what? But the, and then there's the uh, climbing on stuff you don't want to climb on. You have to actually maneuver them. Get off! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, well, it was before fun to, like see that. I, I was gonna say before we, I, I <laughs> um, ugh, I'm sorry. Well, sure uh, we're we're going it. we're going on. To, I can English. <laughs> yes. Take deep breaths. Really deep breaths. I was I was, I was, I was I was just gonna say, um. Uh, you know, we should probably try to wrap it up before we spend another two hours long. talking about yeah. this game. Yeah, r real quick, I just People want to mention the first one more thing about the... <laughs> yeah, I just want to mention one more thing about the music. One mm -hmm. thing I noticed about it that I didn't notice in any other Zelda games is, like, say, a character scene, for example, there's emotion in it. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, definitely. Like, there's, there's Mipha's theme, you know, that's kind of somber, you, you know, um... I'm. I have to let you go, but I still yeah. love you. Bittersweet. Yeah. Bittersweet. And then there's Daruks, the heroic. Da 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 da. The confident, the the, the bold. The... And then twenty seconds later, there's that somber piano, kind of showing his softer side. Yeah. But um, yeah, great game, great direction. And... Mm -hmm. Just going to say, yeah, fantastic game. And before we uh, finish off on our thoughts of this game Baby Sidon Yes so, Baby oh, Sidon yeah. and, Because um, devil damn and, they uh, don't want to talk about anything else right And James, yeah. you should, James you should get the last word on it because you didn't get a word in last time Sorry uh, I will say I will say this much before we move on I will be sad if we don't talk talk as long long about this with our last game we'll be talking about. Oh, oh God! Of course, <laughs> that I, I hope I hope at least lasts twenty minutes. Are you kidding me? Of course it is. We just, <laughs> want, to, we just want to get onto the other side. Twenty minutes. You're being slits. generous. It's, like, it's like once we get to the home, once we get once we get to the home stretch, it'll be more calm. Anyway. Yeah. On that so. note, uh, Gui, why don't you take over for this next bit? Okay. Next one that we're going to talk about is a, an indie game, but a another equally fantastic one. Give Cuphead. me the starting note. Drumroll, please. 
Sorry, that's it. It's a great. It's take it away, Greg. Literally, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't have words right now. Cuphead is a love letter to cartoons of the 1930s, uh, usually by either Disney or Fleischer Studios. Mostly Fleischer. Flo- yeah, mostly Fleischer because that that's where they got their main inspiration, and it was made by two guys. Brothers. I'm amazed with how originally, accurate. Originally, originally, it was originally made by two yeah, guys. yeah. The, looking the at first, gameplay, the team grew. yeah, yeah. The first build was made by two guys, and then they and they hired on professional animators to professional musicians. Oh yeah, it's it's all authentic. Looking at gameplay, I'm surprised how accurate the animation is compared Seriously. to older cartoons. Oh, oh and the issue oh, with it's that, surreal. And, and the reason why, and that's why the game took so long, is because they realized, wow, that, there's a reason why these people got paid so much. Kind of yeah. back then to make yeah, no, every single frame of animation is hand drawn. What, 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 what was that? What was that? quote that Lord Hater said in that one episode, Wonder Over Yonder, about animators? Uh, oh, I think oh, it was uh, people who do this for a living deserve more. Yeah. Uh, deserve more why respect is animation and recognition. So ha- wait, wait. Why is animation so hard? People who do this for a living are, deserve more respect and admiration. Stares Silence. at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> But look, yeah, no, looking at is, looking at you, viewing audience. But it is, it is surreal. It is literally playing a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. The soundtrack, the sound effects, the <clears throat> the fluid, like the fluidity, like the hitboxes were programmed very well, I think. And the sad truth of it all is that you have Microsoft to thank, thank for giving these two brothers all the resources necessary to make this game. Yeah, they gave them a <laughs> yeah. chance. And, and f- how many years was it delayed? I think I about a, about a few years. I want to say at least three or four. But wow. Team Sonic, take note. <laughs> this Any is developer. what happens when you delay a game because you want it to be fine-tuned and built to your standard. I know people hate this quote to death, but honestly, it, it, it's in times, it is true. A delayed game can eventually become a good game. A worse game is just bad forever. Mm-hmm. I agree. Absolutely. That is very true. Yeah. And this game is now living proof of that. The, the music, yeah. the, the feel, like, even the cutscenes of, like, when the, the, the storybook is turning, like, that whole, like, it, it I, I would love to see, like, actual, like, cartoons of these characters in that world now. It's fun. Yeah, seriously. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Actually, it's, it's interesting to note, with how much work this game took and how fantastic it turned out and all that, even with how well the game turned out, the creators admitted if they knew how long it took, like if they when they start if they started the project and knew how long it would have like what it would have taken take. to release it they never would have made it yeah I know. That, but that's the thing sometimes it's just a passion project that just you have to like just go for it and just let whatever happened happen yeah. you can't be intimidated by things like that sometimes cuz yeah they probably thought it was going to be a few years but then it built up but they kept with it and that's commendable yeah, yeah. that is I mean, true dedication yeah, and, and hey, you know what the and the overall quality shows? Because I mean, even when you take the whole uh, F- Fleischer style animation out out of the picture, it's still a damn good game gameplay wise. Oh, it's a oh, it's yeah. a fun game, and I it's, think it's a great I think it's a great game to introduce people to the to the old uh, running gun. Oh yeah, and all the masochistic torture that comes with it. Yeah. Sorry, I put my mic a bit there. Yeah. Um, yeah, hi, yeah, your yeah. thoughts on it from what you're watching or the look at and stuff? Um. I do love the presentation and the aesthetics of it, and I do like the lore of it. I've just never really had the chance to play it because, well, for one thing, I don't have a console to play it on, and my laptop's not... I doubt my laptop's capable of running it. But, like I said, um, what they said pretty much echoes my opinions. The only other thing I could say about it is, remember, it is universal law that you are forbidden from saying anything negative about the game's difficulty. If you dare to say anything bad about its difficulty, oh, you it. need to kill it's yourself. The, it's the, it's the dark, oh, it's the Dark Souls of Disney. I will exactly. fucking kill you, Logan. Not until, not until Dark, not until dark Souls dude, remastered, and you challenge me to a duel. Dude, one. has any has anyone ever done a parody like that before? Disney's Dark Souls. Oh God, they're they're well, asking. Well, 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 and there was a, I, I do remember there was a parody of like Disney Game of Thrones, but I no bet. Dark Souls as far as I know. Oh yeah, no that that one artist, yeah I remember that. One. But yeah, uh, with 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 the game. So sorry, got to uh, cut that. Yeah. So is there any more comments you have? 
that's about it. I will say this much. Steve. I, I, oh, sorry. No, that's about it. Okay. okay. I will I will, say, I will say this much before we end off. Um, I don't, I doubt the, two, I doubt Studio, what was it, MDHR? MDHR. MDHR, thing. I know they're, I doubt they're going to watch this anytime soon, but if you ever do, just for the shits and giggles, please, 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 add an online co-op mode. Seriously, I want to play this with Wait, wait, so two, bad, like... two. All right. Message the MDA, MDHR, add an online co-op mode. Message the micro, Microsoft, release the leash on the game so that we can get it on Switch. That would be nice too. I mean, mm. to, I mean, look at the neon Joy Cons. They, they they match the they match Cuphead and Mugman perfectly. Or to oh, mod yeah. it, or again to allow us to make like Steam Workshop mods in order to allow for servers. I don't know, but oh dear I, God, I, I, would, I can only. But, no, it'd be horribly anime stuff. I know, but just I, I've just this rekindled a lot of people on Twitter, and this rekindled a lot of people's love for classic animation. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean hell, I mean hell, it went. I mean, I mean hell, it went gold twice. Yep. It's yeah. it really does show what a passion project can accomplish if given that chance to flourish and not just oh, be shot down. Oh god, actually the way I say that does remind me like all the pictures that they make along with all their announcements, like again, they reach gold twice and then the the balance patches and I immediately remember like one of the pat changes they made. You can't duck during the de during the devil boss fight no more. Damn it. <laughs> By the way, yep, so speaking of uh, labors of love for indie games, that leads to our segue for our next game that I'm going to introduce, A Hat in Time. Can I, can oh. I, say, can I say something yes. real quick, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just real quick. <clears throat> Ukule ukulele Kickstarter, $3 million. <laughs> a, hat in, a, ha a Hat in Time Kickstarter, $300,000. The price of being able to recapture nostalgia the correct way and, and, and inspire modders of the palm thousands. Priceless. <laughs> Some things have a cost. For all others, there's true gamer knowledge. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Uh, MasterCard guy. Hey. Thank you, MasterCard. It's, anyway. it's crazy, and I'm so glad I was able to get something to wipe, wipe, wipe the the taste of ukulele out of my mouth because I wanted to okay, believe in it. Okay, a lot of people hated ukulele. I, I don't hate it. I just was, I was underwhelmed. Yeah. I mean, okay, I will say this the... much. I will say this much. I did go out of my way to get the Switch version of ukulele and I still like that for what it's worth. But Hat in Time is such a better game. Yeah, so, I think so... someone's, I think someone described it best that nostalgia is almost like wasabi or something where like it's a very strong spice. You have to like use it very carefully otherwise you can spoil the whole thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Hat in Time. Yes, oh let's. boy! This like, game is awesome. It is very. It looks awesome. awesome. It is. And, cool. and honestly, I know I'm kind of spoiling ahead here. This game is essentially a, in some ways or another, a precursor to the awesomeness that would eventually become Odyssey. In some case, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely like it was a great palate cleanser and like get like pre preparation, like a, a appetizer. And I will also say that, and I also will say that, um, as a de as a detriment to. Um, to a hat in time and how much I got out of that, it gave me some really bad muscle memories on the ladder. I bet, but yeah. but, uh, but, but I was but like, it's like, first of all, I want a switch port. Please. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, if why you has that not been done yet? Switch port, then I don't know. I well, don't know. He, here's the thing: uh, they do have the switch the switch dev kit now. It took them a while to do so, but they finally got it. It's Wait. just a matter. It's it is just a matter now if they think I can actually make it work. And I'm sure that's going to take a little bit of time well, for them. Well, it didn't use Unity or something? I forgot engine they used. Uh, uh, it Unity. uses a Unity. Yeah, then they can do it, I think. I'm sure they, I'm sure they can do it. I mean, hell, if ukulele can be put on the Switch, I'm sure I had in time can yeah. as well. But I, I assume it, it's it, probably it, going to be a different process for them than it was for Platonic. I mean, hell, for Platonic, it took them an eternity to get it on the Switch. That's true. But, um, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's um, it was a game that I remember backing years ago. This thing had been around since, what, 2014? 2013? 14, yeah. 13, roughly, yeah. It was a long time ago, and I remember like when it first showed up, and at first it just looked like a Wind Waker thing. It, it, yeah, it kind of did. But it was talking about it would be a it would be a collectathon like Banjo Kazooie, and I, I was one of the people who believed in it. I was like, this is actually looking really fun. Yep. Oh yes. I mean, and it turned out to be better than uh, anything than I would have hoped for. Yeah. 
Right. I mean, I will say, like, I, I, w I was well aware of A Hat in Time's existence way back when. It's just that I wasn't really following it as religiously as these nutjobs here. <laughs> but by the time the game was starting to be, come, come to its final legs, like, I was I was pretty, I was I was interested. And by the time it came out, I, I played it. I loved it. Here And, yeah, here's my problem, though. I had to wait a couple extra months. Because, yeah, guess what? Before. Yeah, because I... I tried getting it on my uh, on my Mac because it does run on Mac. However, it ran so horribly and the controller su support wouldn't work at all that I was like, "Fuck it, I'm waiting for it to come to PS4." And to and I actually platinumed the game. I platinumed <laughs> the game on PS4, so I'm wow. glad of that. Um, Seely, mm -hmm. I, re I remember. Uh, I think I streamed the game for you uh, on a few occasions. What did you think of what you saw? It was it was so it was so cute. It's adorable. Cute. You have yes. a kiss button and a glow <laughs> raspberry tease button. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the, one thing I, the, the first thing I think about when I think of a hat in time is the uh, the fanfare when you get a timepiece. Yeah. It's so oh, cute. With the little space there and involved. Oh yeah. By the way, yeah. speaking of music, uh, they were even I guess from a stretch goal or something able to get the great Grant Kirkhope to do a song. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which, which, uh, that's, tell, which, that's tell cool. me you guys don't already know which one, which, which piece that is. I know because it's so it freaking is, obvious. Well, I didn't one? know what it was until after you told me. Which one? Yeah. Uh, the hub theme. The hub theme. When you're on the spaceship. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is there. Yeah, but, that um, makes sense. Uh, but my favorite song is still uh, the fight song uh, with uh, Snatcher. With the Snatcher, who is voiced by Young Town of all people. I, oh yeah, they... I fucking I've love heard. his voice. And screw you! And screw you, ukulele. These guys had the balls to keep John Tron on. Yeah, yeah. come on. Not because they because yeah. they had because the, they had the they had the smarts to understand there's a separation between a, a person, their opinions, and the character they play. Right. Yeah. What? Or even the person and, that they are. And and to so, be yeah. fair, and to be fair, you can hate the character as much as the real person too because his character is an asshole. Yeah, he's kind of a dare. Kind, kind of, of but, yeah. But, but okay, but I mean that that in I, itself. I, this disclaimer: I I don't hate John Tron. I still think his stuff no, is funny. Oh, saying oh, saying freaking the flex tape. I gotta watch that part again. <laughs> but yeah, but let me just say, I that, saw this right? boat in half. Why? Anyway, sorry. Um, but let me say, like, like, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna be comparing this a lot to ukulele because like there wasn't a lot to compare to that it wouldn't be destroyed by. Trust yeah. me, but, 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 I, I would have been surprised if ukulele wasn't mentioned in this section. Well, because I'm trying to compare them because they're both technically indie-developed projects. They are technically indie. Platonic is now indie. They're indie-developed projects. They were both kickstarted that both touted about trying to bring back nostalgia of the collectathon, and both went about it in different ways. And the problem, with, I think, the big problem with ukulele that set it up for failure was that it was just trying to be Banjo Three. Pretty like, much, we just wanted Banjo Three. And mm -hmm. so they they kept trying to imitate Banjo Three, do this and this, but they didn't. It didn't give a lot of time to really become its own thing. Like you're still going through an enemy stronghold, a la Grunt. It, it 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 kept trying to be something else and set itself up on this pedestal. When I think Hat in Time really went the way of making itself more unique. And I mean, I can't remember half of the name of some of the places in Ukulele, but like I remember Dead Bird Studios. I remember the Subcon Forest. Mafia Town, Mafia Alpine. Town, like the Alpines, like it's the, the things you Alpine's do, like the characters, each unique, cute little, uh, cute little uh, title card art for each mission you go to. I'm gonna say right now, ukulele was cool, but I will say that, and I will say that any song that I li any song that I could say I liked in ukulele, just straight up alone, the the theme that plays when you're in the underwater realm with the clock towers, the whales, like that song is beautiful to me. Yes. It is it, it is utterly gorgeous, especially the orchestral remix. I think I showed that to you, right, Seely? Showed me what? The song that plays when you're in the bonus world, like you know, when you're underwater almost and like you're running. Oh, around. okay. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Just you mean in, you mean in Hat and Time, right? Or... Yeah. Just go oh, yeah. 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 That's why yeah. I got so confused. I'm like, wait, wait a minute, are we still talking about Hat and Time? But then yeah. like <laughs> but, but then but then one second you're doing that, one second you're fighting people, another one you're solving a mirror. Another one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the way you said that. <laughs> I, Another, yeah. I love every single time that actor, which, by the way, that's the Smash announcer, by the way. That's Smash the Smash 4 announcer, yeah. 4 announcer who voiced that, that character. 
Uh, every single time he said murder, it just says, kept on getting more butchered. <laughs> butcher. I think and my spin. favorite is where he goes like, murder, murder, murder. That's amazing. Jesus there has been a, there's been a murder. You pick next. <laughs> Good if, you had, if, you, if you had the chance to murder your fight, <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> you know, you know what? Just, just before we end off, hype in your conductor voice. What did you think of the game overall? You can't do that. His parents are asleep. Well, just, just, to, just to still answer the question anyway. I honestly have seen next to nothing of the game outside of what little stuff I've glimpsed from what you guys have shown me. I hear it's really great. And the comic dub I forced him to be a part yeah, of. Yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of count that with that. I hear great things about it. I'm not going to say they're wrong, but I want to wait till I play it then, myself to say whether that's the case or not. Then boy, really ha- boy how are you going to have a romp when we do the commentary? Because we're doing one. Yeah, we will. Oh, in yeah. due time. We are definitely so, doing a commentary, and I was going to host that, but my PS4 broke. Well, then Nick, well, then Nick you want to host it. Just, a... just after you got your platinum. Yeah. Then the. Well then, Ikki want to host it, but then it's like it, 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 fighting over because we all like this game. It's it's a great game, really tried. It. It's amazing. Um, I guess with that said, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty then. With that said, um, our next game on the list here is a little something that I'm sure at least four of us here are were very much looking forward to and enjoy the hell out of Sonic Mania. I will. I want to say two things yeah. right off the bat. First off, it's the one game that we know for a fact the girls don't give a stick about. Second off. Of course. <laughs> Second off, Mania! <laughs> Mania! <laughs> this game. Just. Sonic I Team. Mean, you gotta step notes. it up. You can... Take no Sonic Team. This is how you do a right. proper Sonic game how... in some way or another. A proper about... classic Sonic right. game, anyway. So there, I have two names. I have two names for the for the video game year 2017. I am debating whether it's the year of the platformers or the year of the nostalgia buffs. Why not both? Because they're all, it's it's because why not? Why not both? But I will say, but okay, to its credit, we're gonna say Sonic Team take notes because they definitely fucking should. But I mean, what the hell? You you tried to release something long like this? What the hell are you thinking? Uh, they should take. And notes. he's talking about a game he actually liked, for the record. I do like it, but I, I say I, I like games. I can I can like games and still think they're bad. Fair enough. But it's your guilty pleasure least. game. But I say that I say you I say it's proof that you like a game more if you can admit it has flaws in places still. Fair enough. But I will say, um, um, not just Sonic Team. Okay, to be fair, Nintendo, take notes. This is why you should not crush the dreams of people who make games like as a tribute to how awesome you are. He's so, this he's is still, what they can do. He's still salty about the fact that they that about the, the um, DMC D, DM, DMCAing fan games. Fan games in general, Mario Unity, like showing off how someone could which create the version surprised. of Mario 64, which is awesome. Which or makes me ASMR. Or... Yeah, ASMR. Sorry, go or ahead. Or another Metroid 2 remake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Hype. AM2. All I was gonna say is that with that being said, I'm still surprised Mario fan games Galaxy hasn't been taken down yet. <laughs> yeah, hmm. especially with a name like that. It's, there's no subtext. It's just text. But. Um, yeah, that's what you should do with people who make games, and you like they have talent. They're there. They're willing to make games that for you. All right, it's... can we let's stop making this video an open letter to developers and talk about and uh, actually talk about Mania. Sonic Mania is pure. Well, Sonic Mania is pure fun. Well, okay. I, actually, before we go off that topic, I will say at least this much: at least some people listen because hey, you know the guy that made the uh, made uh, AM AM another yeah. Metroid Two remake. It was contacted and commissioned to help out with um, that the um, Ori sequel. Yay! Oh. I can't wait for that. Will the Wisp can't wait for that. Is that coming out this year? I want to say it is. Okay, cool. I'll add that later to my list later. But, but anyway, um, going back to Sonic Mania, it's like, god damn. Like, it re- like the same developers here, When I mean, they originally helped make the um, por- enhanced ports of Sonic CD, Sonic 1, and Sonic 2. And now they're kind of given the freedom to make their own game for a change. And... God damn! Like if the, if this isn't proof enough that the fa- that the fans are much better, like the bright fans are better developers than the actual team, that definitely says something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, the game is just it's just joy. It is fun, and if there is a mania too, which I hope to God there is, you know there's they going better, to. And I, mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah, 
they better, and I mean they better, make the second game entirely new stages. If not entirely, then at least the majority, because that yeah. like make it the make it the polar opposite of the first game, because that is like everyone's. Well, I wouldn't say it's so much like a major major complaint, but more like a nitpick, if anything else. Just like they focus so much on the nostalgia factor that, and there was only like what four original stages, which are really good. Well, the act, well, the act twos are always different, and like well, the, well that is true. That is true. I do appreciate that much, and that's why I still think this game is freaking incredible. And they were trying to test the waters, and now that they've definitely tested those waters and found that there's gold in them hills. Yeah, and especially considering how much and, and considering how much Sonic forces flopped, I'm pretty sure Sega's like, okay, screw it, we'll let them have full, full reign of Sonic games from now on. Although, although I do want a good boost Sonic game, I know they could do it. I'm yeah. sure they can. Yeah, they it's just did. That's called generations. The right people for. I know, and I love generations. I want another generations. Why couldn't forces have been generations too? Why they have to? <laughs> it's good. You know, I want. <laughs> well, he wants to do generations. I want a new adventure game, one that's actually worth a damn for. As aside Re- from one and two, as Reggie Watts put it, the game. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. But Very yeah. fun. So, yeah. So, uh, great game. And to uh, and on moving onward to our next, uh, our next platformer slash nostalgia trip. Mm-hmm. And a revival of a character that we hoped would be returning soon. We almost lost hope, but then they surprised us with probably the definitive example of how you do remakes or remasters properly the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy A blast oh, from the past oh, 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 By yeah. the way, I I am counting this game on the list because remasters in general I don't think should, like if there's a remaster it shouldn't be added to our top list However, this is an exception because the game is a remaster only in the gameplay aspect. Literally every single other thing, the voice acting, the animations, everything else is rebuilt from the ground up. So yeah, which, I count which, is, which is to be admired because now we actually have a we actually have a trilogy of crash games that look like something straight out of a DreamWorks movie. Seriously. It kind of does. Yeah. And it um and, and it recaptured some of the glory of playing those games for the first time again. Yeah. Faults and all, aka Crash Even, 1. <laughs> or and hell, it even added some. I mean, say what say what you will about the about the um, Insane Trilogy. It even added a few new faults, like the hopping nitro, nitro crates. But really, it was it, it did warm me up to the idea of those guys making more Crash games. Because like again, what I was never a huge fan of Imaginate Skylanders. I don't blame you, really. I mean, those are real, those are games that are only gonna like satiate little kids. And I mean, even and with also, even with like that really great love letter to them, crash in the form of Thumpa Wumpa Island from Imaginators. I mean, by and large, that's still just like one ninth of an entire game. And sorry, you're saying something. I was about to say. To be fair, we to be fair, they have proven not just with Imaginators. They have proven that they are quite competent when it comes to Crash. Because Let's remember, they have developed a lot of Crash games in the past, like Nitro Kart and most of the Game Boy Advance games. Mm-hmm. Which of themselves are fine, even if they're not quite as good as the originals. Right. So they definitely had a foundation to work off of, and I think they they bet they actually used it to the fullest effect. Mm-hmm. And and, uh, and, it, and it definitely shows with our co- with our um, with our commentary of it a while back. And which. Which I still love the fact that we each did our respective favorite games. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the fact that we the fact that we got the opportunity is a great thing. Which, my I say by the way, I, I'm not usually the one to talk about the prices of things, but forty dollars for three great three great games remastered that is a hell of a deal. Mm-hmm. Seriously, yeah. it's a steal. It's it's yeah. a steal even. Mm-hmm. And again, it's just I love it so much because. And like the guys here, I grew up loving the original trilogy and loving a lot of the Crash games. And like a lot of people, I was really kind of, I wouldn't say devastated, but really hopeful that after, even though I personally think they're just fine, after the mark that the Times games made and how it seemed like Crash was pretty much dead for a while, the fact that the Insane trilogy came along and proved that the that the Bandicoot does have longevity in him, I really do appreciate that. And it's still kind of ambiguous as to where Crash will go from here, but I just want to thank the Insane Trilogy for proving that Crash can still have a home for gamers and everyone alike, and just prove how great of a remake it is. And I'm going to use the notion of remakes as a segue into the next remake on our list, 
Mario Ooh, Luigi nice. Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Oh, this one kind of came as a shock to me, and I mean, yeah. I I'm grateful for it because I love the original Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, and I love the fact that, I mean, in a way, it, it does seem a little lazy that they're doing one more game on the 3DS, but I would also say it's kind of a swan song for them. Probably. But yeah, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. I think it's a really great remake. Some would say it's the oh, best. Yeah. Some would say it was the best, uh, ser- best game in the series. I May still, as well be. I still think that Partners of Time was pretty good, as well as crap, bump the laptop. I think uh, Partners of Time was still pretty good, and Dream Team is still a really awesome one. I've yet to play Paper Jam yet. Paper, Paper Jam, Jam okay. I think, is pretty good for what it Paper is. Jam, my, Paper my, Jam was a lot of fun, but yeah, I still oh. prefer Superstar. Same here. My, my personal favorite so far in the series, even though I haven't played all of them yet, is Bowser's, Bowser's Inside, Inside Story. Story. Same here. I wonder mm. why! Shosh. <laughs> but, no, but, but that one is also a good one. I'll I love, stop I love, there. The, I love the story that I love. I love the characterization it gives Bowser in that one. No joke. Mm-hmm. May I yeah. just say real quick, Alpha Dream, if you're watching this, I love that you guys did a remake of Superstar Saga. Please do a remake of Bowser's Inside Story for the Switch so we can actually record it. Actually, or, or, just, or, or even just or even just port it like you did with Partners in Time and I was Superstar about to Saga say, Virtual Console. Speaking, you you make that tease about remakes. Um, unless I'm mistaken. The Bowser's Minions mode, which I haven't touched at all because I have no interest in it, apparently there's something in that that hmm. teases the possibility of them remaking Partners in Time next. <gasps> really? Really? I did not know that. Uh, I okay, think Logan, that's Logan enough. is having a Logan. wet dream right now. No, about no, that. no, I'm fine. It, it, it's a great game. Shut I, up! It's a great, <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a great game, and James is doing Superstar Saga for his commentary. I'm doing Partners in Time for mine, and. Because he doesn't want to bother dealing with technicalities, I'll try and do Bowser's Night Story and see what I can do with it. But it's um, it, it's great, and it was a cool idea to see them work with it, and I look forward to what else they can do with it. Um, and I and I will also say that like out of all the 3DS game, 3DS Mario and Luigi games, I really do appreciate that this is probably the most fluid and fast paced of them all because I think it oh, really yeah. needed that kind of touch up, especially since they're reverting back to more 2D details, which honestly is for the best. Well, also because Bowser's also because, not Bowser, also because Superstar Saga was in and of itself one of the fastest paced Mario and Luigi games. Period, even oh, the yeah. original. I mean, it is the very first one, and so. it did and it did mainstream and improve upon things that the other one like found lacking, like the advanced moves. Oh, yeah. dude, don't even get me started on the advanced moves. The fact that I learned how these work in this and game think that makes me really regret how regret my playthrough for the cha- for my playthrough of the original game for the channel. <laughs> it's fine, but yeah, no, but um, but it's um. But yeah, that that was a great that is something that a good remaster should do. The visual upgrade is an, is amazing, especially like if they ch- like it's kind of like again why I think it's so weird that they did a remastered of Skyrim and not Oblivion. Like because like he... cause, and same same with you know and same with uh, doing a big remaster of Twilight Princess, like before doing Ocarina of H- Ocarina of Time HD on Switch. Even though I know they and even though I, I know they did 3ds, but I'm just saying like. The fact is, like, you know, some of these things, like, they already look kind of cool and all. Like, like if they, like, okay, if they tried to do this with Dream Team Remastered or Paper Jam Remastered, it wouldn't have worked. They went, like, right to the very, very beginning and brought it back up to the current, like, quality. And that that amount of stark contrast really is impressive to see. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Come. Like, I mean, barring the fact that they do did make a few visual changes that I'm not entirely approving of, like making the derpy-looking Koopas from the original game just regular giant Koopas. Oh, I like those little derpy mm. guys. I know, uh, I, like the, I like the little derpy fat oh, asses oh, and, that get oh, pounced oh, by Koop brothers in, the, and, in a sugar rush. And a good important thing I was actually curious about, I guess, unfortunately, just so we can move on to the next part, is how was the soundtrack compared to the original? Very good. Um, it's pretty... I mean, for what it is, it works. So I mean, I will, I'm hard pressed to say whether it's better or worse, but I think for the 3DS in particular, I honestly, I, I mean, I, I don't know how to put this. But like, they did I instrumentize and whatever. They they were instru- instrumentized everything, and I think for what it is, it's fine. I do I w- I would have probably done it a bit differently if it were me, but if it, but for what they tried to do, I think it worked perfectly fine. Alrighty, so yeah, if you want to give that game a shot, I, from what I've seen, I would highly recommend picking that up. I would whole high recommend it as well, and I, and I will apologize in advance that we didn't talk. We're not talking much about Bowser's the Bowser's minion portion of the game, but honestly, oh, it's a cool RPG. I, it's it's a cute idea, though. It, it is mostly fluff. Like now if I know you just I buy, if you just if you just buy for the sake of the remake itself, then you're getting your money's worth. It's the same reason why no one touched the Mario Brothers mode on the original one. 
They just played yeah. the original. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it didn't, also didn't help that every other Mario Advance game did the same. But, but anyway, uh, but, no, but but I'll say, but now I know I gotta play because I want to see that part. I want to see that partners in time teaser. Oh, uh, that'll be that'll <laughs> be interesting. But anyway, uh, moving on from one remake to another remake, and I do mean that in the most fullest form. <laughs> also on the 3DS is Metroid: Samus Returns. The the main reason as to why another Metroid 2 remake got de- a cease and desist. And I swear, which is unfortunate, I, but they listened. Oh, been, okay. Yeah. And I swear, I don't know. I joked about this, but I just can't but think that the guy that made that. Metroid 2 remake, the minute he saw the trailer for that, he just flipped his table going, why did I bother? <laughs> why no, did you do all this? I, no, to be fair, if it weren't for him, I don't think I don't think that Ditto would have gotten the idea that people, people wanted, wanted a remake of this. Yeah, which, uh, and, and to be fair, and to be fair, I will say this, the the two of them are very different experiences. He, oh, was, yeah. tr- he was trying to bring it up to, uh, he was trying to bring uh, Metroid 2 to like, zero. he wanted to make a new Zero mission. Essentially, whereas whereas another Metroid, or excuse me, whereas Samus Returns, honestly, really, honestly, it barely even feels like a remake of the uh, second game. It does feel like a new a, a new game altogether, considering how it was structured and well how how it all how it all works. Free f- motion, free motion aiming, pretty much. The yeah, way that, of the future. I do think that was a, a massive improvement. Granted, it does slow down the experience, but to a degree. To a degree, but I think in a, in a game like Metroid, I think it's perfectly fine. Yeah, I, I actually really like uh, not only that, but also the counter. I the think that's in, fun. The, the counter is interesting, though. I think my only problem with it is that every single enemy needs the counter in order to de- deal with them. Parrying swiftly. and reposting. Yeah. This is the Dark Souls of Metroid. <laughs> oh my god. Sad, sad truth is, Logan's really not kidding, because Metroid Samus Returns is easily one of the hardest games in the series. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, you will get your ass kicked pretty damn hard during the beginning portions of the game. Well, the Met- yeah, well, the Metroid betas and gammas look kind of hard. Not even just one of the Metroids itself. Like, you, like at our base level, Me- Samus is a fucking wimp. Well, that's why you gotta get all the power-ups. Yeah. Games right. Are built around. You get all the pa- Once you get, start getting all the power-ups, then you are allowed to be a little more reckless, but until then, you gotta be very careful about your health. I would say it's even worse than, say, Metroid Fusion, where you literally were surgically underpowered. Well, then, well, then they do have these, like, new gimmicks, like new power-ups and new, like, ancient, like, energy source or whatever you used or something oh that's oh that's right the aeon abilities honestly i do appreciate their inclusion especially for like the for like powers like say i forget what it's called but basically it lets you read out the entire map within your radius Hmm. and like it only costs like so little little and you can easily replenish it but it does help for the sake of trying to uh, figure out where you need to go and it also kind of uh, eliminates the need for map rooms yeah and uh, definitely helps with item collection but um yeah and also, aside from that, I do remember there's also a rapid, like a rapid fire type of thing, like a heavy machine gun. Mm-hmm. There's also uh, there's also a, a, a defense buff, which is definitely necessary for some for some of the more heinous parts of the game. And then finally, you have the ability to literally fr- slow down time. Mm-hmm. Just real quick, <laughs> but um, um, mm-hmm. um, I should probably save this joke for when you're done. But I'll just go ahead and say it anyway. I know you said rapid, fu- I know you said rapid fire, but I thought you said rapid fire. Wink, wink. <laughs> Oh God! Well, all right. Well, that's a segue if I ever heard one. Okay. Well, right. I, I mean, I don't, all right. Well, I'll, you asked for a tough guy, but before we move on, I will say, like Metroid: Samus Returns. Make no mistake, even though it's ball bustingly hard, it does have a few kind of iffy moments. I do think it's a really good game, and on mm-hmm. and, it, and it's surefire proof that Nintendo has not forgotten that that the Metroid series could still be great, and well, they actually give a shtick about it. And, and, it is, and it let's is, not forget. The number four won E3 last year. The JPEG, <sighs> of, a, the JPEG yeah. of a number four in space is all it took to get people crazy. But uh, but I will say this is this was Metroid's link between worlds, and I want I hope Nintendo, you know, uh, takes note and says, yeah, we should probably make more of these because in fact, in fact, like actually, I, and yeah, in fact, I honestly think with this game alone, there are possibilities for new games, and I won't say why because they're spoilers. <laughs> You'll just have to play the game to find out yourself. Anyway, going and, on from and from, speaking from, of linking between worlds and cannons, yeah. arm cannons. I, I know. Well, anyway, going back, trying to follow up with um, go, following up with um. Hype's a little joke there. Uh, Logan, if you would. <laughs> okay, that's that's the wake-up call the girls definitely needed. Let's Kingdom Battle. Ready. Yeah, to get everybody ready for the next uh, game we're doing. So, Kingdom Battle. This was, like... I remember, for, like, 
a year and a half, this was a joke. This was a joke that was being told to people because we didn't think it was real. We didn't think yeah. it could be real. We didn't think we, we didn't even know how they were going to even do it. But and, and and I remember the developer themselves then re- like they made reference that when it was leaked out about this, they were like really worried by the response of people being like, "What is that? What? Why? How?" Yeah. But and, and I mean, could you blame us after what the rabbits? After the, 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 the destruction that the rabbits have caused with their previous there's games, a, especially wor- with their incessant need for party games, the, yeah. there's, a, there's a word for it. It's like a st- 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 no, it's basically it's like stagnation. No, 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 not stagnation. But it, it's there, there is there was like a there was like a, a, a an aura that followed the rabbits and wherever they went of like oh they stank like, sure they scream they yeah I'm probably like that uh, but <laughs> but but they but they a stigma that's it. Yeah, There's I was sti- about to say, I think you mean stigmatism. Yeah. Thank you. Not stigmatism, just stigma in general. Or yeah, stigma, yeah. Yeah, but there was a stigma that followed the rabbits that they, they, they're they not good. They're not good. They ruined, they, they literally, for a while before 2D came along, but I will say, they killed 3D Rayman games. They Yeah, they did. For a long time, yeah, they did. Well, no, they and still they... have. We've not had a 3D Rayman game since. Yet. Yeah. Well, uh, Michelle Ancelli has expressed interest in uh, in a fourth Rayman game, 3D. Yeah, but, so, but yeah, here's hoping to to jump off of what Logan is saying. With all of that said, I I think we are all happy this game turned out the way it did. Yes, Actually, yeah. like like mostly yeah, but there are still people that like. I think it's because of just how strong the stigma is for some people. I know I remember that there were a lot of people that were like honestly kind of pissed at how well it did it's like no it's rapids it needs to be terrible that's true that is is well don't listen to them they're idiots yeah because this game is a lot of fun and quite literally it's XCOM 3 and it is an XCOM game through and through and it is really fun it streamlines the that tactical RPG type style that XCOM has and really makes it well and, oh yeah and and as the developer himself mentioned after seeing stuff like it it's helping the genre along of like it's showing that there are new things that can be be done with it you don't have to just copy XCOM like the move like and as again, I think I already mentioned this but the the developer himself uh, quote unquote said that he is thinking of perhaps incorporating some of the movement abilities of <laughs> Kingdom Battle into his next XCOM project oh that oh, sneaky devil yeah, well to be fun. to be fair to be fair, his franchise came first. I think well, no, he has just, some well, no, general, degree of... Well, uh, yeah. Probably won't copy, but just like the ability to like do melee attacks if you run into enemies would be cool. Like to and maybe like do to... something and maybe do something about the whole luck factor behind behind attacking. Oh, no, I don't think he's going to change that. that. That's part of the appeal of that game is the roguelike. Yeah, ability. the the RNG in that game. It will say seventy five percent hit chance of hitting him. It's more like a thirty percent chance. But 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 uh but and maybe there'll be a thing where like he allows. Like, if you run up to someone, you, they can help you vault over a higher ledge that you wouldn't be able to. Like, I could see him incorporating while still keeping it his own thing. But, um, but just, yeah, like, the, he's, he's, he is amazed that the genre is happening this way. And, yeah, as Quonko said, like, people are like, why did you do this? And he's like, I didn't think we could do this. Dude, if you told yeah. me that I could do, if you told me I could give Peach a shotgun, we would have done this years ago. Yeah. And, <laughs> I didn't think huh? we could do get away with doing this. And, yeah, a lot of people originally were complaining about, uh, alright, so this is why giving Mario a gun is okay and not Sonic a gun, or not Shadow or Sonic. It's not a gun, it's a laser okay. pew pew. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. The stuff, it's a <laughs> The thing is, in, Mar- in Mario, <laughs> in Mario, in Kingdom Battle, the, they look nothing like actual guns. They are based off of the weapons from, uh, from Fifth Element. They are exaggerated, weird, just fully... They're crazy. Samus cannons. Yeah, they're Samus... They're, uh... They're Samus cannons. And yeah. they're all wacky-looking guns. Instead mm-hmm. of giving Shadow a legitimate... A P-911. Yeah, giving him an actual P-911. Yeah, I think I said that name right, P-911. Or a rocket launcher. But yeah, it's the rocket it, launcher. It, it, I think it's, you it's have all a about leeway with. But yeah, it's all sure. it's all about fo- it's all about following an art style, and not making right. things clash. 
Right. It's also why, it's also why even giving Sonic a realistic sword didn't quite work. But yeah, I think it worked better there than Shadow did for his but guns. I mean, but, but, but first of all, let yeah. me say, again, David Wise with Snake Pass and Grant Kirkhope with Rabbids. Mark plus Rabbids. Yeah, I'm, he... glad that the, I'm glad that these two guys got to work on better games than Ukulele this year. Yeah, because no, their, freaking... their art deserves it. Grant, this is, in my opinion, Grant, Grant Kirkhope's best work. And to be fair, I think he put the most effort in this out of anything ever. Because well, to be it's fair, a fucking I wouldn't... Mario game. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't be also be surprised if Nintendo and Ubisoft just paid him more. Well, Are we got the sh- bucks. <laughs> Maybe, but the thing is, he, I, this so- he sounded so passionate when he did the soundtrack on this game. Everybody who worked on this game sounded super passionate about it, and, and I actually, think that's the passion that made it work. To be fair, it also reminds me of that funny story where Kirkup literally got got the bombshell later on of what exactly he was working on. It's like he saw it on screen, he's like, "Wait, wait, wait, that's Mario." Yeah. Yeah, this is the game. Wait, this is... Oh, fuck. He's like, he's like yeah. wait, are you guys just playing for fun? No, this is the game. Yeah. Also, you're making, you're the, best, the best opera sequence in video game history. Oh, yeah. The oh. Phantom of the Wapra. Which is, I don't know if that's his official name or not, but that's still it is. our fan uh, name. The full, well, the Phantom the, is part of the name, but the, the Wapra fa- is a... The Phantom is his, uh, is his official name, and slightly unofficial... Or... All right, the Phantom is the name of the character, but the Phantom of the Blopera is the name of the stage. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, it's... And they got an actual opera singer, too. It, the, the direction is great, and it has, like... It had... Again, I think it re, I think it recaptures the quirkiness of old Rare games more than Ukulele did. Yeah, in a way. Like, it feels so weird, too, considering the fact that, well, this is a Ubisoft game. A Mario... A Ubisoft-made Mario game, even. And and they may and they make we utter the syllables. They are cute. Kind of. <laughs> well, at least with at least with uh, Spawny anyway. It made her very. Yeah, Sp- Spawny is adorable. Mm-hmm. I, I, I need I need a plushie of Spawny. I need a plushie. I'll I'll, I'll just make Spawny my new uh, Echo Dot. <laughs> I would be I would be you know I'm kind of surprised they never made a figure for Spawny or heck yeah. maybe something something for Beepo. But yeah, but all all. That was definitely, I think, one of the big surprises of this year. Oh yeah, and just, just well, it's more so the surprise that it actually turned out as good as it is, and it still has a DLC on the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. which again, mm-hmm. it still saddens me that all my that all of our pre- our uh, predictions were way off. Yeah, because Samus would have been perfect, Trish's cousin, but who knows? Maybe that, maybe <laughs> Trish's cousin will still play a part in this in the story. But all, but all in all, I'm still happy because I'm like what what Grant, what. <laughs> Why did you laugh at that? Because he said Sam. Because he, he he thought one of them was going to be Samus, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were. That been fun. I thought you were reacting to the. I thought you were reacting to the name of Tracer's cousin. Which, to be fair, we still don't know what her name is, so he can call him whatever he devil damn wants. I, and I That's still, fair. and I I like how I'm the one who kind of started the whole Tracer's cousin thing. Well, she did. She well, what else can we like call her? It. Yeah, but but I will say. Um, but I, but then but then I'm like I'm happy because I'm like, oh Grant gets to work with his golden boy again. Grant gets to go okay, all he wants. It's not that. Which well, which, no, which, which, still... which, I'm, which I'm gonna say right now. I part of me hope part of me would love if Grant could voice Donkey Kong again. Yeah, but no, they're still keeping the original actor, which I still think is perfectly Ganon fine. Dog, I mean, I, I think I think I think <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy to me, Sealy. Mm-hmm. That. Donkey, to, to give you because you haven't spoken like thirty minutes, the fact that um, the fact that Donkey Kong is voiced by Ganondorf. Oh yeah, that's right, Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Wait, it is. Yeah, it is yeah, that's that, yeah. that's that's Ganondorf. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> what a thunk it. That so. is amazing. Yeah, but it's just I, I that um, unfortunately that DLC is not out as the out of, as of this recording though. I I do remember it's going to be for spring, and I'm just wondering to myself like. This can't be the end. This can't be the end of it. I know they're going to make more story-based DLC after this. Because how do you end it with just a jungle-based level with you, DK? You, Ubisoft does let their DLC, and in this instance, I think it may actually play to our favor. Right. I'm just. Uh, I'm looking but, up real quick. Hmm? Um. Uh, the voice actor. Yeah, I'm looking up the voice actor because I don't. I don't remember him voicing Donkey Kong in Melee. Oh, this no, was no, before. Melee, oh, no, 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 Melee, they used gorilla sounds. No, this was after. Yeah, this was Melee, after. they oh, used okay. straight-up gorilla sounds. Yeah, for reference sake, he started... Oh, okay, refer- that's what it was. For reference sake, he started voicing Donkey Kong in Jungle Beat. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and I think Mario Party Tennis as well. But anyway, getting off topic here. So moving on from a game that we thought was going to stink but turned out to be really good. Now for our last majority game, we're actually going to talk about a game that everyone was hyped for from the hyped for from the very get go. And it just kept Say on it. finding ways to impress us and make us even more mm-hmm. surprised than ever. So yeah. yeah, with that said, for our last game, we've got Super, Super Mario, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. <laughs> just. God, this freaking I'm putting game. that song in the background. Don't like, worry. Like even when even when there wasn't that much t- much shown off from it from like from the January presentation, it's like we were all so hyped for it because it definitely felt like un- it felt unlike most other Mario games that we've played up until now. It, like the, the realistic city, the jumping using your cap. Like I remember that I remember when that was the first bomb shows. You can throw your cap and use it as a projectile. We're like, okay, that's cool and all. You know, you can throw your cap, do some cool projectiles. Now then you can the, possess. Then E three came yep. along, and you're like, what? <laughs> and all it, it all started. And it's all started in the land before time. And where I, dinosaurs roam the land, and then you suddenly see the fucking Mario. No, cat. I know, and everyone, yeah. and I thought, you just don't get no better than this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> But no, and then I remember watching you see them like it was oh, nice for Littlefoot to inter- to invite us to the to the <laughs> land before <laughs> time, <laughs> baby. Mario. But no, but but no, and I remember watching with Seely that intro, and I'm just like, what? This looks actually really cool. I mean, granted, it does kind of look like a monster thing, and then you see the Mario cap, and yeah. it's like, oh, Cappy, wait, oh fuck, and then you oh, like, the frog. Over our heads. Mario's frog, a dinosaur, a bull, a bull fuck. among other things. <laughs> Office, and, and in all fairness, that was when they introduced the whole like transform or excuse me capture mechanic. Like oh, they, yeah. they kept that hush hush for over really six months. well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. How the heck did they do that? Like <laughs> goddamn! It's like at that point people were so ecstatic for it, I, like, and then the game officially came done. out, and it's like I think it. I think as of this as of this recording, it's already broken at least two million I overall. Bet. Devil Obviously. damn! <laughs> it's. It is like in its first month, it broke two million. It is, like, that's yeah. Still, it they is, knew how to hype it up. It, it is such an amazing like. But by, by the way, this is another one of those games I think is worth literally every cent. Mm-hmm. Yes, it. there mm-hmm. is yes, so it is. much content. It is, it is the it is the best game I've been wanting since Galaxy and sixty four and Sunshine. Yeah. Now, not to now, not to decry like the previous three D Mario games. Like, I still enjoyed three D. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, three worlds. worlds. All three worlds. Mm-hmm. I think is a great. Name. I think three worlds is the great. Three worlds is a great Mario game following that formula and that. Right. Style. And I, and not for nothing, I wouldn't mind seeing that game get a Switch port sooner or later, with all that included. Maybe maybe a few other characters like say Yoshi, Mario, DK, right. any of them really, <laughs> or even Bowser for the heck of it. But <laughs> just cool. yeah. I lo- I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. I love it. It's like our other characters. I go. Wah. It's like yes, even Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna keep moving right that's along. What that's what we were talking about, right? But no. Um, in all seriousness, but yeah, like that would. Co- I hope that come another time. But anyway, getting ahead of ourselves. Sorry, going sorry. back to Odyssey. Just my the entire week. That's all I cared about. Playing through Odyssey, getting was, everything, oh even my. the most bullshit of bullshit. I of like. I would just Same here. Play. I would just play mm-hmm. for hours, just straight, and there was so much to do, and like, oh and my believe God. you me, it's gonna be so hard talking about this game, considering all how much is in it. How like, much we know what is? We don't want to spoil it all. Because I really, really want to do a commentary of this. No, not even a commentary, a live playthrough. Oh yeah, we're gonna. And have... if if mm-hmm. if one of our upcoming videos is anything to go by, I think we could do it. Mm-hmm. I, think we can. I really want to do it, like hopefully soon. But just. Oh man, it's, just, it's been a hell of an experience. I still remember, like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I, trust me, this I'm not going to spoil anything. I remember, like, b- both Logan and I, we were playing the game roughly around the same time. We, were on the final we got to that one bit, and I can ima- and I just remember how fucking ecstatic we got and during I, and that I, portion. And, I have and, and look, recording, so. yeah, and Logan was literally like, James, whatever you do, do not look at my screen right now. <laughs> don't look. Just keep playing because I was sharing my screen and. And, and I'll stream it, and but like, and I have it on recording for anyone in the mall. Family errands made me it, miss that. I do, but no, but, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll link the I'll link that particular part because yeah, we were on the final third and we played it simultaneously and we both experienced it at the same time and it was such an experience and I got to be there when Seely got through all that stuff. It was, it's such, Yay. it's such a genuine 
feeling of fun and excitement that I haven't felt from a game in a long time. Yeah, exactly. And no, it's we're totally just... and, to, and we're yeah, and no, we're totally we're totally on jelly over the fact we missed Gui's initial um, I'm sorry. reaction to it. It's fine. I was way too into it. What, what matters is that you felt it and you weren't spoiled by anything. That's what. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep, I agree. We were talking about earlier about it, and yeah, don't worry, they're still mad at you. I'm not mad, but no, in, in, the, in the end, in the end, in, in the end, again, I'm just glad she got to she got to experience it because that's why we don't want to talk about right now. Is that if you have not seen it right now, if you have never played the game, have the ability to do it. Yes. Don't look up anything else. Don't watch anyone else play it. Don't watch our playthrough of it until you're done, because it is an experience. It is a ride. It's honestly <laughs> the best experience type of game I've ever played, because there's still something to go along with it. Actual yeah. gameplay. Like, this is something I can enjoy more than, say, um, okay, I know I'm going to be a good shallow here, but I do think this is a better game than Breath of the Wild. But that's only my personal opinion, because I'm more into games like this. But, you know, I, yeah, I think, I think the games have, are definitely different genres, and, different, and they appeal to different people. I... This is a game, I have probably never uttered these words for games like this before, but I want DLC of this game. Me too. Oh, and there are, oh, I believe you yes. need to. Oh, there hell are, yeah. There, yeah. Oh, no, dude. There are going to be. Like, so, I, for now, well, I mean, granted, we only got, like, the bare minimum for now, like, that one. World. That's still such a weird it's fucking actually thing from what I hear. Well, at least Luigi's there. We know where wait, doing, yeah. wait, doing what? I didn't hear yet. Luigi's the little world. Oh. Yes. Actually, oh. actually, from what I hear, they're not treating that as DLC. They're treating it as like a system update thing. Oh yeah, it's a free. Oh yeah, it's a free update. Well, it's yeah, like, it's, it's, free, it's technically free. Yeah, it's free DLC for. But, but yeah, it, it's same principle really. He's, but, a, he's in the game. Luigi's in yeah, the game. He he's in the game. And he's got a cute little bow tie. Hey. Yep. But, e. but and I mean, I'll, I'll definitely do it. I want to like compete and see if I can find the best spot. I'm, I'm still gonna. I'm gonna do that for each kingdom. I still want to do it. It'll be fun. But like, oh just, yeah, yeah. It's um. I want DLC. I, I played this game and I still think it's worth every cent, but it is so good. I still want more. Me too. Yeah. I really want. I, and I, I, really I, want the, I really want more expansions. Yeah. I want more worlds. I want more. This game is, I still think, one of the best Mario games ever. It is. Yes. I, I still I'm, think it is the best Mario game ever. And, on, and also, best without 3D spoilers, one anyway. I would not mind if this game, much like. Well, yeah. anyway. Um, I, I won't go, to any, go any further than this, but like. I would not mind if, much like 3D World, it got a Captain Toad treatment because there's so many little things that this game has. I wish it was expanded on to be its own little thing. Yeah, all the different I, worlds. I just think, I, in different worlds, yeah, maybe different. Maybe maybe gets full soul focus on coming, some of those transformations. Coming next year, Captain Toad's jump roping, <laughs> <laughs> which is impossible because he can't freaking jump. But no, I would like I would like kingdoms like Princess Daisy and Sarasa Land. I'm saying it's there. Al Tofino, it's on the map. Like, there are places he's gone and actually, like to see. High, the the bomb, like, dude, dude, dude. Bomb, Hyrule. 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 Imagine that in Mario's Hyrule. timeline. Hyrule. That would be weird. Mm-hmm. But you know, okay, you know, maybe not Hyrule, but you know what I just thought of? Um, like, like you know what? Okay, probably not Hyrule, but one I actually just now literally thought of? A spooky world, like where Egad lives. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh, oh I love. I would love to see that. Ooh, hmm. wait, ever, wait, ever, wait, wait, wait. A world filled with nothing but, like, multiple mansions. That each one you go into, and it has so different like so, so dark moon. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's what I mean. Huh. Like, why not include I know the is... area from dark moon? I know this Sorry, is. A... Go ahead, type. I know this is a bit of a stretch, but I still think it'd probably satisfy a lot of people. A waffle kingdom. Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> yes, please. A f- just a food kingdom. I mean, no. I mean, well, no. no I we already oh, have that, but aside from but the I mean. Gym. But you know, a different kind of food. You know what I mean when I say Waffle Kingdom, right? All right, yeah. Just making sure we've all played well, the game. Maybe, maybe there'd be a world where, like Mario, go. Maybe there'd be like a, a secret area, like once you download, once you download the content, Mario can fall asleep. Some Mario can fall asleep in a particular place, and he goes to freaking Subcom. Oh, that would be, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, that would be incredible. <laughs> and, 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 like, like, and suddenly like, the just... snatcher pops up. <laughs> no, but the, you know, you know what kind of I'm talking about. But like, but yeah, yeah, it'd be like a Dark Souls kind of thing where you just have to go to a particular place and wait, and then bam, you're there. It's like, wow, that be that would be interesting. But aside from that, like, we're just talking about kingdoms. Think of all the costumes you can get, Mario. Oh, fun costumes. Oh, fun, yeah. yes. Like again, costumes from Mario Party Two, costumes from like. Oh my god! It's. I actually have heard heard a claim that there might hey, there wait, could wait. possibly be a link costume for Mario in the yeah, future. Yeah, oh yeah, I heard that too. Oh. How about costumes based off of other franchises? 
Oh no, dude! I would, thing. dude! I I would pay for a goddamn pit costume. Pick wait, I would. wait, wait! I I know I know a good kingdom that they could include. Hmm. A kingdom based off of the Bean Bean Kingdom. Oh That'd yeah, be nice. that, that's yeah. Right there. Like yeah. that... like you could have Stardust Fields and the Bean Bean and Kingdom and, itself. And then Prince Peasy would come along and flip his hair, and the balloon <laughs> filter would break your television. <laughs> it's, too oh God, it's too bright. It's too bright. Oh, much balloon. Actually, now that I think about it, imagine being able to capture him. I was gonna say, oh, I was gonna oh say, I was gonna say with his big fat he, he nose. Wear, he wear a crown. He would I was wear say, a crown. I was gonna say with his big fat nose, a character that would make sense would be an Olimar costume. Oh, that'd be yeah. fun, yeah. especially especially in one particular I mean, area of the game. But I actually, now that I think about it, isn't that kind of redundant considering there's already a costume like that? Ah, uh, but not not that costume. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's, like, it's I know, I know. Really, James is having a Captain Falcon me costume in Mario Kart 8 the same as having Captain Falcon <laughs> in the game. Good point. So good point. Well, you can make the me into Captain Falcon. Yeah, I know, but but yeah. So I'm just saying, like, the game is phenomenal. It is easily like I I, I wouldn't say cheated because I do think gameplay game time and gameplay wise, there's a lot more to do in Odyssey than in Mar. There's a lot more to do in Breath of the Wild. The Nazi, but there is still a lot to do in either of them. I think. Oh, yeah. oh, agreed. But oh, I, yeah. but I would think that honestly, I think Odyssey maybe maybe could have deserved the. Okay, I, I would say, if not for the fact that Breath of the Wild definitely appeals to a more more larger audience because it's not just Zelda, it's also open world RPG. I think Mario kind of was the better experience for me overall. Agreed. I mean, it's I think it's a little more accessible than Breath of the Wild for one thing. And oh you know, yes, without a doubt. And secondly, just all the how the what the fuck factor that game has to offer is just the it's, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna it's gonna leave an impact it's gonna leave an impression on you like forever. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do another speedrun attempt. Like it's I honestly the same. Di- it's, it's disregard like the, the disregard the kid that uh, that told me he thinks Mario Mario Odyssey is a stupid game, and I thought, well, this kid, is, this is what have you been shit. raised it was on? There's also the kid who liked Call of Duty more. Ugh. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's right. He did. Yeah. likes that. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. But yeah, no, no like taste. like. But yeah, Maybe but like, we should have put Call of, Call of Duty World War Two on the list. No, go ahead, mm. go, go go ahead, James. But yeah, it just this game's going to leave an impact in a similar way to stuff like what Mario sixty four had. Like, let's never forget the goddamn haunted piano I'm or ah! tossing Bowser by or, the tail. Or, or in this I'm game, sorry, but, or... I'm sorry, but putting it a... in there is going to, is the one. <clears throat> <clears throat> We'll just bleep. We'll just bleep that out. You'll bleep it out. It's okay. You will bleep it out. But I will say that is some good beep. <laughs> that was some good, <laughs> good stuff. Beep, good beep. Good beep. Good beep. That is the best beep this game ever. Beep. Okay, but okay, I'll, but I'll go in the corner. But no, no. But inside that it's is okay. actually but inside that's not quite a spoilerish stuff. Uh, the fo- the the freaking evil unagis. Oh uh, yeah. And the evil people oh, yeah. those evil seaweed things. Oh yeah. Oh god. Bad touch. <laughs> oh, I but think that's a, that, but you know what? That's an awkward way to an awkward way to end it. Let's just go. Let's just end off by saying, this is a great game. I hope they make more more games like I this. Am... I hope they expand upon it through DLC and give us all the costumes we also desire, I... like a Princess Zelda costume for Mario. I would love those expansions, <laughs> but I am so worried for the next Mario game and how they're going to top this one. To be yeah. fair, it's pretty much the same thing like with the Galaxy games. We all thought that that those couldn't be topped in. Well, to be fair, the three D game three D S games are fine and all, but yeah, Good they point. were essentially just smaller experiences. And there's those are fine. It never hurts to never hurts to dial back a bit while you try to make your next big epic. Like again, Odyssey. Right. So, but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think here. we're pretty much done with all of our uh, majority games well, wait, and wait, our wait, minority wait, games. I could see the other thoughts. Oh, so, oh shoot! I'm so sorry. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, you go first, Sis. It, it's. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's it's gone where no. I, I of course I say this about Breath of the Wild too. It's gone where no Mario game has ever gone before. I mean, they actually they actually you know oh, how do how do I put this? It's ten o'clock at night. I I am tired. I'm not really sure how to put this into words. And I was there in the so, call and um, it left you suddenly like wide awake and energized and like. <laughs> but the fact that the. Uh, it, it was kind of up in the air for a while, as far as I, I knew. It was up in, a, in the air for a while whether or not Bowser would actually go through with trying to get Peach to become his queen. Right. And they actually did it in this game. They went mm-hmm. full they on act- with the marriage. Yeah. Yep, they actually, they actually took a page from Mario Adventure and made it canon. 
<laughs> or Super well, Super actually, Mario. actually, it's more like, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Mario Adventures did first, so that's why I make the claim. But, I'm tish. <laughs> but okay. yeah, this, yeah, and then hype you go. Um, I'm not. It's. I'm honestly trying to find the words for Odyssey. Not gonna lie, it's like. I don't want to give off the wrong impression. I loved Breath of the Wild, and I'm glad that it won Game of the Year because I think it does deserve that recognition. But devil damn it, Odyssey is just, just such a, it's just such a pleasure to go through from beginning to end. Like I don't think I've ever felt this way about any Mario game. Like, not even the Galaxy games as blasphemy as that would be for me to say. Just <laughs> that's why I hate, I that's hate fair. the, the cosmic yeah. comments and the purple coin comments. Ah! Yeah, but it's just like Odyssey. It's just I don't think try as they might. I don't think that this is an experience that can be repl- replicated. This truly is a one of a kind of one of a kind experience, not just for Mario, but oh, I would yeah. say just gaming in general. Honestly, though, I you agree. do say that. I will. I will say I would not mind it the slightest if in the future they do decide to do an Odyssey two. Obviously, they're going to have to make yeah. new, like brand new kingdoms with brand new fe- gimmicks, cu- captures, and everything. Yeah. But I, but honestly, with I mean, okay, this is kind of a minor spoilerish thing, but they definitely left it open. Like like Mario Cappy could have more adventures in the future. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't mind if they did at least one more. I think so. Because mm-hmm. because honestly, as I've already said this, it would it's we've now reached this point where like power ups are one thing, but the fact that Cappy has now proven that he can like help out a Mario, it's it's gonna be hard to create a Mario game where we try to explain why he wouldn't bring Cappy on the adventure with him. Yeah, because seriously. Cappy yeah. is like perfect yeah. for everything. It's, it's Cappy pretty is much great. pretty much Cappy! like <laughs> it's pretty much like Breath of the Wild. This one set uh, the I'm new sorry, standard. I, just, I think so. I'm sorry. I just think that's it's cute. all right. But so I guess with that said, do you think we should get to the finale of this? Yeah, let's get to the yes, finale. Please. Um, it's Matt, if you very would. late. Yeah. So uh, anyway. For what we are going to last talk about is each of our top five favorite games, plus a few of our honorable mentions. So, now, granted, it should. Let's just leave a little reminder: not everyone here has a top five because, well, they, yeah. we've we had a chance to talk about all these, but it doesn't mean everyone else has been able to play them. So, just keep that in mind. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So, on that note, uh, who who goes first? How about James? Me. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I guess it's I guess it's fair. First, the first and the last will be the best. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll start with my honorable mentions first. Um, I'll go with the Insane Trilogy just because I love those games. But again, they're, remake, they're remakes of an already fantastic trilogy. Super Bomberman R because I personally enjoyed it a lot, but I do still think it has its problems. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle just because, I mean, honestly, the top five games I think are a little better for me in a way. But even though I still love this game. Uh, Blaster Master Zero just because, again, still love it but the top five do kind of top it in a way, and Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap, again, for a very similar reason to the Insane Trilogy, but I still love it all the same. So, okay, for my top five. Uh, number five would be Mighty Gunvolt Burst. I mean, honestly, the amount of hours I put in this game kind of speaks for itself. Uh, four would be Cuphead, because, like, again, I love, the, I love the animation and I love the gameplay, even though it did kick me in the ass pretty damn hard at times, but then again, that's par for the course. Three would be A Hat in Time. Again, I'm a massive... St- I have a massive hard on for these types of games and it delivered in almost every possible way despite being a bit on the short side two is sonic mania though me being a massive sonic nerd i guess that goes without saying and number one well you already know that it's odyssey <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for my for my own uh, countdown yeah all right uh, uh, actually actually how about i choose the next one okay. i will extend my extend my finger to glee okay okay i had a feeling um, I I I only I can only think of one honorable mention, and the, and it's I've been really wanting to talk about it, but the reason I can't is because it it uh, it came out technically in, in uh, at the cusp of, of 2016, uh, and it's called One Shot. It's an indie game. Oh yeah, with the <laughs> little cat sprite guy. Yeah, <laughs> good game. Check it out. It's on Steam. It's cheap. I mean, you're a cat, um, and you can go on a Roomba. It's already amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my personal top five, um, they, and they are they are in an order. Uh, number five is Rhyme because it is a it, it is you know because it's beautiful and it's short. It does have a few flaws here and there, but it doesn't take away from the from the whole experience. Mm-hmm. Um, 
fourth one is uh, Cuphead. You kind of you already know why. Mm-hmm. Uh, third one is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Also, you know why. Because it's, it's not only gorgeous, gameplay is fun. It has, also has a few flaws here and there, but they're easily overlooked. Super Mario Odyssey is, uh, is at number two. And at number one is Breath of the Wild. Sweet. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Great year. Very yeah, great year. <laughs> so who are you going to choose next week? Um, About Steve. Um, okay. Um, just as a bit of disclaimer, and also the reason why I didn't talk a whole lot in the minority part, is that, truth be told, I've only played like a very small handful of games that were released in 2017, so I, I couldn't have much to say regardless of the circumstances. But I'll try my best to sort through things out anyway. Um, my two honorable mentions are the... Actually, I'll change my list up a little bit. My two honorable mentions are Samus Returns and Cuphead, for reasons that have been stated already amongst the group. As far as my top five, mm-hmm. number five is the Insane Trilogy, because, again, I just love that they finally found a way to revitalize one of my favorite platforming icons of all time. Four is Mania, because, again, I just think it's a really great tribute to what made Sonic as a franchise great to begin with, like or at least the classic era. Three is the Mario & Luigi remake, because I... Again, it's just a great remake. In fact, I go so far as to say that I actually kind of like it more than the original. Two is Breath of the Wild, because, again, it's just, it really is just an amazing Zelda experience. And I'm kind of echoing people saying that I have a hard time figuring out where they're going to go from there. And the number one spot is obviously Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Hey! <laughs> you fool! All, <laughs> change, change it back before you regret it. In all seriousness, number one is Odyssey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, sis, who do you pass the torch to? Okay, see. Ya. Um, okay. <clears throat> um, I couldn't really think of an of an honorable mention, other than uh, I, I, I guess Cuphead. Okay. Okay. And for my uh, top five, uh, I actually was able to think of five this time, in no particular order except for uh, Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Walking Dead Season 3, even though the first two episodes came out uh, in late 2016. Okay. Oh. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Pizzeria Simulator, Splatoon 2, Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, and Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Yay! Beast of the Woo-hoo! Wild! Stop it! Stop! Pants, 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 pants. I'm surprised you didn't... I'm, just, I'm surprised you didn't mention... <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't mention Walking Dead Season 3, Logan. It's not... It wasn't my favorite, but I enjoyed it. But I, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't one of the highlights. Yeah. It was more like, okay, I'm just I'm going through the motions, I guess. But I, I, if you want, I can mention it. Honorable, okay, fine. I guess toss, toss the torch <laughs> to me so I can do the honorable mentions then. Um, toss it. Who hasn't gone? Was it just Matt? Me and Matt. Uh, no, Lo- Logan and Matt. Matt. Yeah. Okay, you... Okay, so Logan. Toss me the torch. Boosh. Burn. I declare these five yeah. cook games. Oh, oh, it, was, it was then that Celie accidentally burnt her boyfriend alive. <gasps> no. Anywho, so my honorable mentions. Um, so fine. I'll say one for Walking Dead just because I am enjoying that, and I'm I'm glad that it took a different direction than season two did to create a new character yeah. and give me that freedom. Because season two felt like it was really chained. Season two felt like it was really chained to what season one had been, and season okay, three was a good improvement. Yeah. I just remembered an honorable mention I wanted to bring up, Telltale Batman. What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Real quick, here, quick, say that. Um, Telltale Batman is pretty mm. f- interesting. I appreciate doing a lot of things different, and it's good. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it also got a Switch version not too long mm-hmm. ago. <laughs> um, so then, uh, anyway, other honorable mentions. I would actually honestly say Bendy and the Ink Machine, because I am, I'm impressed with seeing how far it has come and how much attention to detail and feedback the Meatly is, is willing to accept and look into to make his game better and better with each new build. And that's the other thing is that it's not that he's just making these new ones. With each new like episode that comes out, he usually goes back to the previous episodes to improve upon them with what he's learned and what he's developed for that new one. That's By the way, Jordy, you're welcome. By the way, Jordy, you're welcome. <laughs> I was just about to mention her. <laughs> But yeah, so I am I am touched by that. I'm hopeful to see the Wheatley do more stuff with this. I don't want to see 
him go down the dark side path as, as I've seen other people go. No fish. <laughs> but there could be more. But anyway, uh, no fish. other honorable mentions are Cuphead because it definitely. It's a running gun game that I was able to get behind. I, the last one I got behind was like Contra 3, and it's been forever since I've gone into a good one, so that was a great kind one. Of sad, kind of a sad shame we actually really forgot got to mention just how much like 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 the game was inspired by a whole bunch of other video games, not just the Fleischer cartoons. Oh yeah, no, like, the, like, oh, yeah the, street, much, the Street Fighter Frogs. Yeah, yep. like, Street Fighter Frogs, <laughs> and Slime, the Contra, three Stooges and, 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 obviously, and obviously Contra and uh, Gunstar Hero. And uh, that reminds me, so I do Metal Slug later, but... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, yes. um, that was a great gun. Another honorable mention would be, um, God, I don't uh, Macross S, just because I put so many hours into being that game, and it's a really fun puzzle game. <laughs> I'm glad they brought it back. Um, That's good. Snake Pass for being a really unique puzzle platformer. I love those, and I love seeing a unique twist that isn't just another portal. Yeah. So two new puzzle it, platformers that are just more portal. This one... It's a steal. Ha. So, okay, so actually, okay, so I guess um, with that said, I think I've done it. Let's go. Okay, let's. Uh, in case I've forgotten anything, I don't care. Let's go on to my top five, I guess. Um, and again, all right, let's do most it. Most of them are in no particular order. Um, number five would probably be the Insane Trilogy because watching wa- watching poor um, watching poor millennial gamers cry about a game that suddenly is too hard for them is beautiful to me. <laughs> and like, wow, it's almost as if you guys had to actually learn how to play a game. Um, Morons. But yeah, in all seriousness, what game. The fuck? But in all honesty, being able to play Crash 2 again and in such an amazing way was super fun. Um, the music and all being... Re- it's so... Ah, so good. Um, uh, the Sexy Brutale is on my top five because I really do think it is an incredible, unique experience. And the puzzle gameplay is very rewarding. It's a really cool game and I definitely enjoyed 100%ing it. Um, if you have a chance to play it, please give it a try. I insist. It's great. Um, number three would be A Hat in Time because not only is the game by itself amazing but the fact that on pc it's also been opened up to the steam workshop and people have made custom levels custom costumes custom items custom like everything there's a, there's a power up someone made where you can be zawarado from jo- from jojo's bizarre adventures for no weird reason oh god there's a power where you can become an astronaut and give yourself moon physics <clears throat> you can uh, like again, all these different levels. Like people have made levels based off of Super Mario Sunshine bonus stages, and it's it, it, like just I love that. I love that there is almost given this game an insurmountable amount of like longevity to how much people can play it and customize it, do all this other stuff with it. Um, uh, number two would be Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, easily my most favorite uh, open world RPG ever. <laughs> I've never, I've never before been able to say I put in this many hours into a game and I'm proud of it and <laughs> I, I, can, I can say that for Breath of the Wild it is, an, it is an amazing ride even the 450 things I didn't need but I got them anyway um, yeah include and again I hope you're happy with that golden piece of I'm fine with it and I would have loved <laughs> if there was like some hidden thing like if you put that in the thing I would have loved if there was some hidden secret where if you put that in the Master Cycle Zero you could freaking fly <laughs> like a laugh at you all from the ground like a laugh at you all from the ground below because I'm on a rocket ship like I'm that freaking jet bike from Grand Theft Auto 5. Anyway. Oh, boy. In all seriousness, in all... Has, it, has to shit. Has to shit is the, is breathe, the true honey, upgrade. Breathe. I would love that. It'd be amazing. Hey, to be fair, if it were for Crash Nebula, it'd probably work for Link as well. Anyway. I have to be I have to be quiet Sorry, myself because, like, my mom went to bed. So, okay. yeah, so anyway, you're sorry, number one. Breath of Wild, amazing game. Can't wait for more. And my number one slot has to go to... Super Mario Brothers 2, baby! You did it! It came in on a corner! Okay, I'm sorry. Donkey did that way better than me. I'm sorry. Please watch his, <laughs> please watch his best of these. They're fun, too. Um, Super Mario Odyssey. Just, again, the experience. I'll share with you guys again the link of when James and I went through that final third. It is just oh. amazing to see. It's really a fun experience, I think. I gotta see it, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> me three. You were there. Anyway, I think that leaves us with, I think that leaves us with the with the one that um, actually started this whole train wreck in the first place. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Save the best for, <laughs> save the best for last. Yay! <laughs> I bet that wasn't the intention, but okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So, um, my honorable mentions. Uh, first off, honorable mentions that are not in like my top ten. Uh, Neo. Which I think that is a great uh, that is a great Dark Souls like game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, 
I really like that. But I think that Breath of the Wild was better. Um, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. I love Doom, and I loved uh, Wolfenstein The New Order. So this sequel actually did a really good job uh, feeling like... a upping the ante on New Order. Uh, mm -hmm. Metroid Samus Returns. Think that is a wonderful remake, but uh, some flaws, but wonderful. And also, Cuphead and Night in the Woods. Because I haven't fucking played them. Oh, I still need to play time. Night in the Woods. Yeah. I, still, I, the woods. I still have no means of actually playing them, except for Night in the Woods that comes out on Switch soon. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <gasps> yep. yep. <laughs> but the but now onto uh, my uh, my other honorable mentions that are on my top ten. Near Automata, I think mm -hmm. that is a fantastic game. Uh, the Dragon Guard series is shit, but the Near games are somehow good. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, really good, solid XCOM like game. Xenoblade Chronicles Two, very very good sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles and a worthy successor uh, more so than Chronicles X was Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy because that is a really good remaster and kind of shows how remakes and remasters should go now uh, number six so and then also Sonic Mania uh, because that game was just a super nostalgia trip that was the king of nostalgia tricks. Mm -hmm. In all the right yeah. ways. And so my five favorite games. Uh, number five, A Hat in Time. And I played that at the end of the year. And I love that game so much. All the characters are great. The story is fun. It's just a lot of fun. It is just a lot of fun. Uh, number four is Resident Evil 7. That game just really blew that opened up 2017 to me and i was like okay this might be a good year for gaming and that's that was one of the best and resident evil 7 really kind of started that for me uh number three <laughs> you guys are really going to hate me you guys are really going to hate me why right, just, just say it anyway just say it. super mario odyssey hmm. that's, that's fair fine, yeah. that's that's number three for me uh, okay, i i love it i think mm -hmm. it's amazing is fantastic and the best Mario game and one of the best games of the year or of the decade in general. Right. Number two, despite it being my favorite game of the year, I am playing number two, Persona 5. It is my personal favorite game I played all last year. However, there's one thing about... There's... All right. Yeah, there's one thing about it that keeps it from being my number one. And that's that it came out for the rest of the world in 2017, but technically came out in 2016 in Japan. Right. Mm. And if it <laughs> wasn't for that, it would be my number one. But yeah. <laughs> and that leaves my number one, which is obviously ukulele. Uh, <laughs> because a that, that is just a great return to form. No, uh, Breath of the Wild. I think okay. Breath of the Wild, what. I, I think Breath of the Wild is slightly better than Odyssey. I think it is slightly better than Odyssey. Because of... Odi because I feel there's more stuff to do in Breath of the Wild, and it takes longer to beat. And it's bigger. And <coughs> I think because of that, it's a, just slightly better than Odyssey. But I still love them both almost equally. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And I guess oh. on that note, uh, we're pretty oh. much done here. I get it, I guess. <laughs> Yay! Yay! After two and a half hours. There... Yeah. <laughs> well, on that note, I hope... Wasn't there one more thing you wanted to end off with? Oh, yeah. Uh, real quick, like, a game that you are looking forward to coming out in the next year. Like, okay, oh. so, for instance, to open it, to start our discussion, I think one of my favorites I'm looking forward to has been... It was a huge tie between this, Mega Man 11, this and North Star game... Ayaka is a developer. Oh yes. But um, I think I'm. I think I'm most. I think I'm most. Uh, I think I am the most excitedly looking forward to Ori Will of the Wisps. Uh, me too. Me too. I second that. I'm 
definitely looking forward to what that has to offer. I mean, again, I'm kind of shocked they're even making a sequel in the first place, even though the first one came out how long ago now? Uh, two years? Or, or three years. Roughly, yeah. So they've definitely got a lot to prove with these three years of waiting time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's his. Uh, my, my The one game I'm looking... Well, okay, granted, yeah, Mega Man 11 is one of those games I am definitely looking looking forward to. But I think the one that I'm most mostly interested in right now and helps to, it's actually coming out not too long from now, is uh, Kirby Star Allies. Because I remember the initial teaser trailer. How did I good. know that you were going to choose that? Because I, I, I love Kirby, you dick. But anyway, no, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I remember the initial teaser trailer. It looked good, though I did feel something was a li- feel felt a bit lacking. But then the next trick, but pretty much like 3D World before it, like the next trailer came out and they definitely made some much needed improvements and I'm definitely looking forward to it now. And I'm just, that buff DDD, man. <laughs> buff DDD. Buff DDD. Hey, Kirby, you left, bro. King D D is now proud to sponsor of Anchor Arms. No, no, he he's getting training from uh, Boom Knuckles. Oh, he's, uh, he's yeah, there you go, Star Allies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Steve? Um, there are a lot of games that I'm kind of looking forward to. Some James already mentioned, but. I'm going to pick this one because I think it's the only one I can think of that no one else will mention, even if I still need to get the console to play the Devil Dame game on. I'm very much looking forward to see how Insomniac's um, Spider-Man game is going to turn out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've definitely been curious about that one. I mean, again, Insomniac are making it, and, well, so far they've had a very good, um... How should I put this? They've had a very good, um... Track record. They have a good track record. Thank you. Face plants. I'm going to die. (laughs) (laughs) anyway um ellie um um i can't really think of any games that are coming out that i'm looking forward to besides pokemon on the switch yeah say that (laughs) on the switch (laughs) i'm sure we're gonna get more news on that sometime before e3 right yeah um uh okay let's see seely I second what Logan said, as well as the upcoming Kirby game. Yeah, Thank Fist you. of the North Star and Ori Will of the Wisps. Oh, God, Fist of the North Star. Wisps. That one's going to be something else. I can't say it with my braces. Wisps. 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 Yeah, no, it's a fun... Yeah, <laughs> both are fun. I can't wait to see what they do. But, uh, Matt, did you, Matt, did you already say something? I did not. Okay, uh, but yeah, the... Uh, many games. Mega Man 11, I'm definitely... That's, that's like the... In my top... That might be the one I'm most looking forward to, but... The other one I'm most looking forward to, and I hope to God it releases this year, is uh, Shin Megami Tensei V, because I'm amazed. I'm amazed that was announced uh, to come out not only on Switch, but like to actually be the fifth in the series. Well, I thought you were going to be except for Bayonetta three. <laughs> oh, that's Bayonetta right. three coming out this year, isn't it? Oh yeah. Okay, Bayonetta three. Put Bayonetta hey, three there. <laughs> there you go. Bayonetta three. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay. How about this? Three-way tie between Mega Man 11, Shin Megami Tensei 5, and, Ma- and Bayonetta 3. All right, then, fair enough. <laughs> totally. So, there you go, guys. That's it. That was um, probably one of the best years in gaming in a long while. The game that reignited yeah. what it meant to be a Nintendo fan. And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to see Nintendo as a top contender once again. Oh, Finally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and definitely. And here's some... Here's hoping they can they can keep up the pace with um, 2018. I mean, they're here's already hoping... pro- they're already proving themselves with that upcoming Labo thing. Here's hmm. hoping there's more where that came from. Oh yeah, like the, the Switch has definitely made its presence known with a dramatic entrance. I want to see it hold that ground and hopefully be even more Consider- lasting than the Wii. Considering mm-hmm. the game, oh, one more game I'm looking forward to: No yeah. More Heroes. Oh yeah. New oh one. yeah, that that one that'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But on that note, but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching our 2017 gaming retrospective. And well, I don't <laughs> know if we're going to do one for 2018 as well. It just depends on how many great <laughs> games they have this that this year as well. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Will be. and yep. if you sat through all this, I applaud you. Please. We yes, all applaud you. Please get, please get some, please eat, eat something. You, you probably you need, you, need, you need to hydrate yourself. Well, hang on, hang on. How do we know <laughs> they're not? Use the bathroom. Or use- or use the restroom. You know not... <laughs> yeah, take a much needed shower. At, at, you How know? do you know they're not doing all this while they're eating or doing whatever? It could be like a podcast ah, for them. Ah. 
That's true. Uh, That's a please, good point. Please, yeah. please consult your personal care provider before being exposed to large amounts of mat in high dosage. Uh, please <laughs> be aware of uh, any and all side effects that may include uh, severe... No, no. My voice also, while well, trying to be quiet, also is probably not a good thing to be heard. Like my I'm practice. sorry, but... But what? I made a joke. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, fine. take Thank care. You, Matt, for having me all this. No video games never change. See you guys in 2018. See it's you guys later. Bye bye. Farewell, the Boy. farewell, the people. The podcast ended here. <laughs>